hey guys welcome back to slt learning and in this particular series we gonna learn how you can implement the robot framework with python for your web automation testing okay so so far we have covered two part and this is our third part right so we have seen the basic of what a robot a robot framework right why it is different from the selenium then what software we require to work with the robot framework with python right so everything we have already recorded in part two if you have not referred this video please go and refer this video you will understand what steps you need to take then today part three okay we will see create project your first project create project in pycharm then like configure package then install into libot which is very much important for selenium uh, libraries uh, download and robot files then we will see the i uh, will just say is the robot file right we will create our first robot file today okay so these are the things that we're gonna cover today so let's we start so let me open this particular pycharm so i have created the shortcut over here right and if you see i have started putting the video on this particular youtube playlist right robot framework in 2024 so today like we will see how to create a our first project along with that we will see how to install this intelliboard uh, uh, plugin right because it is very much required when i was doing the installation and configuration for robot framework i was facing this challenge so i will show you what is the solution of it and then we will see how we can create a robot file and hopefully we will see our first test case okay so let it re uh, load everything okay so yeah i can see that this is a project that i have created but let's we do one thing let me don't let me close so like you guys this is we are starting from scratch okay everything we are starting from scratch so let me do one thing let me remove this project right so i will go to this folder i will delete I will delete this project as of now I will close it okay. so I want to show you like how you can create your first project okay guys from PyCharm so that's the reason I deleted that part and let me wait to upload but if yeah and also if you see on my youtube channel you will see many other playlists as well I am also putting the video for the programming interview questions right if you are applying as a QA automation or manual tester you can also refer that one if you are coming from non it background to the qa side right just refer this one qa manual testing crash course okay this will help you this 10 video will help you to understand the software line from basic from scratch okay java related programming video you can also find it over here api testing yeah if you want to learning api testing using the postman tool i have uploaded the video over here other random video you will find and many more videos to come guys so stay connected with me so let's we see okay it is loading still loading. okay yes so now pycharm is loaded right and this is what you can see when you uh like first time open the Py pycharm so you can click on new project right click on this new project and it will display this particular option to you so just enter the information like robot framework will just say is demo okay underscore demo so this is my robot framework demo this is my interpreter to understand the my code and execute the code and then if other thing as it is you can change the location of your project i am keeping it on my default directory but if you want to change it you can click on this one and browse this particular to default directory okay and just click on create so if you see this particular folder is currently yeah it just created one folder for the uh, robot framework demo right if you go inside it will create currently it is empty but it will start creating the virtual environment and other information project related files into that one okay just creating the virtual environment where your actually code is going to be executed and you're going to perform all the testing of web automation okay so let's we wait for a while so yep yeah, virtual environment has been created so like this is what we also happen right if you work on selenium right when you have my project created 
so in a maven project it's initially it start downloading the library supported library and all those information so same thing happening over here so updating the interpretation version and path variable and everything okay and now i think the project is ready if you go right this environment is fully created and the same thing if you click on this one yeah you can see library are loading so all the related information will load over here so this is how you should create the project in pycharm okay so this is library this is all your script you can place it over here right you can create a subfolder we will see how you can create a subfolder and all those things you can see a pip.exe uh, and all those information right python.exe to execute your program and this is external library like a maven library right so all the external library will come over here so this is basic structure of this particular project so now let me tell you the second things configure the package okay so this is how we can create the project now let's we configure the package for that one just click on this main menu go to file go to setting and under the setting right you have to do two things one is plugin which i told you right i found uh, very challenging to configure the plugin and one is the package so you can click on this project right under project you can see the project name and go to this python interpreter okay on this window python interpreter you have to install all the required project okay so this is the simple path guys go to file setting project python interpreter and go to this package uh, information and over here you will say a uh, plus sign install right so you have to install the required package over here so currently i can see only pp is installed so let me go to click on plus right and yeah if you see like this way nothing showing no need to worry just wait for a while it will display the all the required project uh, package so package required to be installed okay in this one so first one it will come selenium then robot framework i will just say is robot work then robot framework selenium library and then last one setup yep now i think it's loaded fine right i it, it, it took some time uh, to get it this particular option enabled and now i can see all the available package over here right so which packet we need to install selenium so what you need to do simple very easy just go and just say selenium over here right and it will automatically select the exact name selenium and you need to just click on install package that's it and wait for a while it will install the package for you okay and it will also show the notification over here you see currently it says installing okay so once it is installed you will see the message over here and one after another you can start another package okay then we need to install robot framework i will take a copy of this robot framework it's currently processing this particular one you see the processing sign over here and over here it says installing so this is how you can install the package right so this is again one of the uh, like the normal interview questions what are the package are important when you're working with the robot framework with python right so you can just say these are the uh, like selenium robot framework then robot framework selenium library right so those are the important one which is required to be installed when you start working with the uh, i will just say is the uh, robot framework with python okay so it's installing yeah just taking some time to install the selenium to this particular project now this is similar right in maven we install dependency right will go to maven and just copy paste the dependency so this is similar it will do it is installing the selenium over here then we will have couple of more dependency but in robot framework in pycharm it just says package so we need to install the packages over here 
normally it will not take that much time guys might be my system is a bit slow And then after we need to install this three more dependency okay so what i will do this is how you should search select click on install package and let it finish you will see the message over here dependency has been installed right yeah you see package selenium installed successfully now i can go to the next one will be the robot framework so i can search robot framework over here Just hold on. I will just say framework. Okay. Yeah, we see so robot framework is coming over here. Then I will click on install. So it will start installing robot framework. Just need to make sure you only take the robot framework. Okay. No need to take any other things. Just take robot framework. That's more than enough. Okay. And after that, you need to select robot framework and selenium library. Okay. So I think if you keep it small, right? It will come fast in search, so I will keep it small. Robot framework with Selenium library. Okay, this one we will keep. So yeah, it is installing, guys. You see, it is installing. So still, it is going on. So let it install. And the last, we need to install setup uh, tools, right? This will help you to install anything quickly. Uh, after this particular configuration but it is optional you, if you do not install this one that's fine but these three are important okay you need to install these three then after you need to configure the one plugin called IntelliBoot. okay so how to download this plugin guys meanwhile it is installing let me just show you if you download it directly from this particular like the available package yeah robot framework is also done let me put it last one over here okay selenium library and i will click on install right so over here we are installing these packages right but to uh, install this particular intellij this is one of the useful i found like you need to search ite 2000 intelliboot right then go to this particular git repository right if you click on this git repository it will ask you to download the jar files okay for this intellij board for pycharm so just go over here right open this particular uh, github and download this one you will see the jar file you will see over here i have already downloaded and i will place in my folder you see this is the intellij bot jar files so you need to make sure you download this one okay guys and from this url you should download go to bottom you will see this just double click on this one and download okay you can double click on this one then you will find the download option so remember this is where you need to go right ite 200 just go to the first one and you can download this one okay yeah and click on oh, sorry i think i need to yeah intellij and click on this download okay this will download the jar files for you okay now once you will have these jar files right in your local what you need to do just hold on this is over here i have in my local right this is so i will copy this path and i will install this plugin in my pycharm okay so it just says this is also installed selenium library is also installed successfully you can close it and you can just says and now you see everything is coming over here but if you need to add any new package just click on this one and click on ok so now you see indexing is happening everything will be get downloaded to locally and your packages are available now so yeah this intellij bot we need to install the plugin so click on this one file setting right and plugin right I have already installed this plugin that's the reason it's showing the one plugin install but what you can do you can click on this setting button right because this will allow you to install plugin from your desktop okay click on this one browse the plugin so I'm gonna browse this particular plugin 
select the plugin and click on ok and it will ask you to restart your ide your pycharm so just go and restart it okay do not search and install over here because we have one uh, one of the plugin over here but it will not work so it, it's better way to download it manually to jar files and install the plugin from this particular option by clicking on this setting button okay so this is how you can install the plugin okay and install the packages so now almost we have everything is ready okay and what we can do okay now let's we do one thing we will see and create our robot file okay so what are the different data or file type we have in robot framework so it's very pretty much sim simple right so we have text file we have excel files right but the unique one will be we if you are writing any code we have python file right for coding and logs and implementation then one of the important file is dot robot this is our test file guys where we gonna write our actual test case okay and how you can create this robot file let's we see this one okay but before that like in maven we have product uh, folder structure right we can also create a folder structure over here so how i am just right clicking on this particular project going to new and i will create one directory okay and i will just say test cases okay and click on enter so my test cases folder is created now now i will click again right go to file and i will just say is i want to create a simple test case dot robot guys understand this one you should always say dot robot okay otherwise it will not load the information for you why i will tell you why it, uh, this extension is use, uh, very useful because we are working on robot framework and you have to keep it robot so you can see few of the keywords and all those things to be useful in your test case and i will hit enter and you see this is how the icon of the file like little robot will become over here and this is your robot file has been created okay so now in the next part we will see how we're going to write our first test case what are the key sections available in robot file but this is how this is how you can just create your project configure the packages right and install this very much important intellibot plugin because if you do not have intellibot uh, bot plugin right you cannot see the robot file like this way it will not allow you to create a robot file like this way it will come as a normal file so that is the important of this one okay this is also one of the entry questions so always make sure you will have these things configured right and then we will go to the next part of how to create our first test case very simple very basic okay thank you thank you for watching guys